to everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new tutorial and this time I chose to continue my last uh, tutorial on uh, how to animate uh, a scene and how to render batch rendering the pictures but this time I uh, as I told you in uh, that lesson um, I want to teach you how to uh, record the how to animate your camera okay and in most cases it's supposed to be very easy and um, there are a few things that you should know when you're animated uh, a camera movement um, so let's start let's first start okay we are going to create a camera and bring it into our scene so therefore we go to create tab and choose cameras and camera okay so after you applied your camera um, you would like to see through it so make sure you selected only the camera and go over panels and look through selected so that way we are actually selected the camera and we also look through it and this is very important because we need to select it in order to set uh, record keys on the timeline for it so at first we will first choose our starting animation point for the camera so we want the camera to face the ball and the surface okay for the start and we want to set a key in our timeline so let's press s okay and nothing happens that that could be happened um, for only one reason if you already chose the camera uh, probably your caps lock is uh, highlighted and not highlighted and you need to, the caps lock to be highlighted so tap on the caps lock once and then try to uh, add a key okay so that that's fine and let's um, let's continue and now we want the camera to be set uh, no first choose the frame you want and then move your camera and set a new key okay so that's fine now move the frame again to 40 this time and move your camera okay rotate it or zoom in or out I don't know just do whatever you want and set a key for this okay so now I want to rewind this I want to see what uh, what's the result of my um, keys that I set so let's rewind this and let's hit play all right so that was very quick um, if you would like to see a real-time animation um, speed uh, right click on your timeline here and go over uh, playback speed and choose real time okay so for for 100 frames it's very uh, speedy so you can always uh, add more frames maybe and set uh, keys along this 400 uh, frames okay and now whenever I move the camera while I didn't set any key um, okay so if you would like to see the last key you want just tap on one of the frames after the, the last key okay so that way the camera will show you where where it's the where is the position for it right now okay so this is it what you see it's what you get now choose 60 and then um, move the camera to the other side okay like so and tap on the S now sometimes when you are doing a really huge um, huge uh, movement like so okay and tap on S Mayan doesn't really know how to translate it so therefore you will get something stupid like this okay it's like uh, rotating in 100 and 360 degrees in this period of time between those two keys that you set okay so if you would like um, to
to fix this, you can come over this key over here and then manipulate your camera to here and set a new key for it. Okay. Now Maya will know that from this she will somehow bring herself to a some much more smoother uh, walk through or I don't know movement. So let's try doing something else. It was quite very aggressive movement. So I will remove the last set key that I set. Okay, so this is where is my last set key and I'm going to set a new key right here okay and set it so as you can see this is the movement but I don't want to be that f that close to the, um, the the sphere while it's adding to the new uh, set key point because this is almost uh, like Maya, she's doing a shortcut way to get to this point. So we would like to smooth this. So put your uh, mouse over uh, one of the frames in between and choose a new position for the camera and set a key for this. Okay. Now Maya knows that she have to walk through this uh, set key point and then move to the other one okay so that way you can smooth things around uh, when you animating your camera now let's say we want to zoom in okay so I will pick number 80 frame number 80 and now I will zoom very close to my camera to my sphere and set a key for this. All right. Now we will get this. Let's rewind and see what we got. Okay. All right. So this is what how you are animating a camera movement. You always make sh you always need to make sure that your movement movements in between frames are not that ag aggressive. And also take in mind that you have to, uh, in some way, feel the speed that you are moving. Because to move uh, this way, like moving from this point to the point that you see this um, sphere, it's not quite normal because it's too fast. You you are u you are using only uh, about twenty frames in order to get to this point so it could be uh, that it will be very fast for a mo uh, camera movement or for one of your or for uh, the, the result that you like to get so always make sure that you are doing things in prop in proper way okay make sure you you, you animate your camera in a proper way um, without using any aggressive uh, movement okay so now um, at the last uh, tutorial uh, which was talking about we were talking about animating and re batch rendering um, there we we chose the perspective view as our rendering uh, view okay so the only thing that you need to change right now in the render setting while you want to render this uh, camera movement out is to choose your renderable camera and for that uh, case it will be camera 1 okay so if you chose camera 1 you should get the same thing that the camera sees okay this camera 1 C and this is this is how uh, it will render out your pictures so you will get this uh, camera uh, animated kind of look and also one more thing when you shoot a scene and you want to animate camera always make sure that you see the camera one appears here in green okay that way you can be sure that you are seeing through the camera or, or and you don't see 
to any other selected object but because you can make mistakes you can look uh, from this object let's say we want to see through it so you see this is what we, s we get when we look through uh, this sphere and you can choose other uh, other views like perspective from the perspective view you can choose the camera again again but you may you may unselected the camera also so you can't animate it right now you have to choose it so open your outliner choose your camera one and that way you will know that you are now uh, animating animating the, the camera movement um, another way to, to see it it's just by seeing those red lines over the timeline if I will switch to any other uh, object you can see that there are no uh, red marks over the timeline that's because those uh, objects uh, we didn't animate them okay we did animate the the sphere so therefore you will see um, the keys for this uh, the movement of the sphere okay but also we can see it for the camera so they are different you can see okay there are different keys for each of those all right this is for the sphere and this is for the camera we it's it's almost the same but uh, except this one and maybe this one that are not the same at uh, the same frame okay now uh, I think that that that's for it for this uh, tutorial uh, it doesn't supposed to be that uh, difficult to understand and I hope you enjoy this um, Always make sure just that you select the camera when you want to animate it. To look through it, it's not it's not uh, <coughs> it's not always uh, it's not it's it will never work if you just look through it. Okay, you have to select it to animate it, and that's all. Hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial and see you soon with a new tutorial. So uh, stay tuned and. Leave a comment and as always I will try to make the, the best I can to respond uh, fast to your uh, questions and that's it for now. Have a nice day. Bye.